Hello everyone, we will continue with the topic types of text and we will go for our last type of text that is dynamic text. Dynamic text means whatever the user will give at the runtime, it will display in our layout. Now, for the dynamic text, SAP already gave a predefined table type. We will use this table type. If I will go to SC11 and show you the table type, this is a predefined table type given by SAP for dynamic text to display the dynamic text. If I will choose the third radio button and display this, it is a table type which has this particular structure and structure has two columns, TD format and TD line. We will use this table type to do the practical of dynamic text. So we will start with practical. Now we know whenever we want to give some input or whenever you want to take some output from the smart form, we will always, always make use of form interface. So in the form interface, I will declare one internal table for dynamic text. Suppose I'm writing LT underscore text type. I will pass the table type, predefined table type for dynamic text. This is our predefined table type. I will check the syntax and activate. Suppose I will display dynamic text in a separate section in a separate window. So I will create a separate window. I will right click on the page and create a separate window to display the dynamic text. Suppose I will give the description dynamic text. From the form painter, I will check where I want to display. Suppose I will display that dynamic data here. From the form painter itself, we are doing everything. Now, inside this window, I will display my dynamic text. I will right click, create text. Now, from the drop down, we will choose dynamic text now. Dynamic text. Yes, I want to change. Now, what is your field name for dynamic text? What is your internal table or field name you gave for dynamic text? It is LT underscore text. So I will simply, simply pass LT underscore text. Language suppose English. I will check the syntax and activate. Now, whenever I will run my smart form, every smart form generates a function module. I will go for execute. Now you can see we have two input parameters because we took one more input for that dynamic text. 
suppose i will give order number as 1 our dynamic text is a internal table so i will open this internal table now td format i am putting star after a few minutes i will put so much stress what is star now i am writing suppose this is dynamic text one i will go for back button and i am running and you can see whatever you passed at the run time it is displaying in the smartphone you can see suppose i am passing this is dynamic text two i'll go to back button i will go to i'll just run this and you can see it is displaying this is dynamic text means whatever you are passing at the run time it is displaying thus so this is your dynamic text but this is just half of that topic because just see will customer run the smartphone no customer will run the program it means your text will come from the program and it should pass to the smartphone this is our real understanding of that topic see what we did so far we are running the smartphone and you are passing the text and it is displaying in the smartphone but customer will not run the smartphone just think from customer perspective customer will do these many steps no so customer will simply pass the text from the program and this text will display in your smartphone this part we will do now i will go to the program and you all know if you want to give a input to the program you can give through parameters or select option suppose i will take a parameter for the text suppose p underscore text suppose character 50 customer can pass a text of 50 you can go for 100 also it's your wish i will go for go to text element suppose this is our dynamic text i will activate this i'll go to back button and i will run whatever the customer will pass here we have to pass or we have to display in the smart form this is our this is our real real understanding of that topic now we all know dynamic text is a internal the dynamic text is we can go for this table type so i will declare a internal table type table type because dynamic text requires this table type i will declare one structure type i will declare one work area sorry work area type structure so this is our internal table and this is our work area now whatever user is passing from the screen whatever the text user is passing we will pass it to this internal table dynamic text internal table how to do simple 
वर्क एरिया वर्क एरिया इज दिस टाइप वट इज दट आर द टू कॉलम्स इन द स्ट्रक्चर टी डी फॉर and if you remember few minutes back we put td format as star just wait i will go into full explanation of star d text hyphen what is the say next column td line is equal to p underscore text whatever the text user is passing from the screen i am passing it to work area now from the work area i will pass it to internal table through append statement i'll check the syntax and activate now the most most important understanding whatever the text you are passing from the screen we are passing it to dynamic text internal table now this internal table we will pass to the smart form this part we will continue in the next video thank you